Well, a member of the New Hampshire Republican State Committee was arrested over the weekend while wearing a chicken suit. He was taken into custody at the Londonderry Old Home Day Parade after police say he approached Senator Gene Shaheen and the governor several times. Gene Mackin joins us with what police say led up to the arrest and reaction from the man in the chicken suit. Well, police say he was warned several times before he was charged with disorderly conduct. He was apparently wearing the chicken costume to send a political message. And tonight, he says, no harm, no foul. This is the chicken suit that ruffled a few feathers at London Dairy's old home day parade on Saturday. Under the costume, 23-year-old Michael Zona, operations coordinator at the New Hampshire Republican State Committee, now facing one misdemeanor charge of disorderly conduct. One of our offices received multiple complaints about a subject wearing a chicken costume. It was uh, bothering a couple of dignitaries in the parade. Londonderry police say the chicken crossed the road several times, running in and out of the parade route, flapping his wings, apparently to send a message like the chicken that showed up in Keene last week, holding a sign saying Senator Gene Shaheen is too chicken for town hall meetings. Police say Zona was warned to back off from the senator and the governor, citing security concerns. He was seen doing it again, and he was escorted out of the parade route and ultimately placed under arrest. Was the chicken handcuffed? The chicken was ultimately handcuffed. Michael Zona tells News 9, I believe Senator Jean Shaheen should be holding town halls, and I have a First Amendment right to express that point of view. I wasn't bothering anyone. I wasn't disturbing anyone. In fact, I got a good deal of encouragement from people along the parade route. Now, Michael Zona is charged with a misdemeanor. He faces no jail time, but he could have to pay a fine. He's due in court in September. Live in the newsroom, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.